Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, The Everyday Nigerian. So welcome guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, thank you for tuning in and please subscribe. For those of you that have been my avid subscribers, thank you for tuning in and keep watching. So today we're gonna be talking about the mistakes I made when starting my businesses. Things I did and things I did not do when starting my businesses. Most people or most entrepreneurs I know don't talk about the struggles they face or the mistakes they made when you know planning and executing their businesses. Now, for most of the conversations we have with most entrepreneurs, we notice that most of them never discuss you know, the mistakes they made along the line before they became successful. Some of them don't even talk about their failures. Some of them push it to the side like, okay, yes, I climbed this milestone, but I don't want to remember that I was in this situation once before and I want to move forward from that. Now, I'm here to tell you that there were certain mistakes that I made when starting my businesses and what these mistakes were and how I tackled them. We're gonna be talking about four points Number one is planning, number two is promotion, number three is money management, and number four is focus. We're gonna start with planning. When starting a business, you have to focus on major areas. Why do you want to start this business? What gap are you targeting when starting this business? Are you solving a problem when starting this business? Now, planning is involved in all this. You have to do a lot of research. The first thing you need to do is focus on the industry you're targeting for your product or your service you want to render. Focus on that and then make sure that you, know, you have everything in check before moving on to the next segment. Now, number two, promotion. One thing I know, the mistake I make a lot, I know for a fact, is that I don't promote myself. I've had one particular problem from day one. I like to separate myself from the brand all the time. I don't know why. I think it has something to do with me being camera shy, me trying to, you know, put myself forward, which has never worked in the past. But this particular time, I was like, you know, babe, going what, what do you have to lose people are gonna bash you either way so might as well be all up in their face and be like huh okay <laughs> promotion is a major problem i've always had in the past i never promote my brand i never push forward i don't know how to i watched a lot of youtube videos where it showed how to promote my brand what to do some people even tell you to go one by one to your followers tell them please subscribe one by one don't look at it as it's a price situation. Go tell them one by one. You have followers on Instagram. One by one, be telling them, tell them, please, can you promote this? Can you follow this account? I mean, I have added like 600 followers on Instagram. I haven't even started going one by one to people. I'm like, can you please promote this? Please promote this. I'm even shy. I'm like, that's a bit too much for me. All I can do is try to put it in everybody's face and be like, please just follow me back, okay? But yeah, promotion is key. Using social media, using um, referral, using word of mouth, talking to your friends one-on-one -on -one, or potential clients one-on-one -on -one is part of promotion. Referrals, people that you render service to, when they come back, they're gonna give you good positive feedback and also put your brand out there. Number three, money management. Now, in the money in the money management segment, I don't have, keep having money. In the money management segment, this is all about managing your funds. Now you want to start a business. How much do you need for this business? Like I said, from my own experience, it's not even the money that I need. It's accounting for the money. I have a huge problem with accounting for my money. So I've already gone to devise a template, which I'm gonna share in another video of what I do when it comes to my money management. Now, money management has been a major problem for me, my business. I have tried so many times to solve it, but I end up crashing my business. Or, you know, I find some sort of avenue to fund the business back and start from scratch. But that's one of my major issues. You need to have, you know, accounting for certain things in your business, like inventory, stock keeping. Are you paying your staff salaries? How much profits are you making? But yeah, money management, key number one. The last one is focus. This is basically just saying motivation, drive. You need motivation and you need drive. We have had a major problem with certain businesses in Nigeria 
where they don't have the zeal. People do businesses for two years, next thing you know. I'm not gonna specify on certain businesses in Nigeria, but the certain streets in Lekki that every single time, the shops keep changing, the people keep changing. I mean, the complex is still there, but the shops keep changing, the people keep changing, you're like, it's not everybody's tired of, you know, opening shop. Not every business, you know, must thrive from opening a store. You don't need a store to thrive. You can thrive off social media. And that's it, plain and simple. I believe that the costing, unless it's too much for you to handle on social media anymore, then you can expand your brand. But don't automatically start with uh, looking for shop in the uh, Lekki or you're looking for shop in the Keja. Don't do that. Focus on what you want in particular. Now, drive motivation is very important. You need to have a particular drive. What made you start that business in the first place? Why did you want to start it? Are you tackling a problem? Again, this goes back into planning, but are you tackling a problem? If you are focused on it, that should be your motivation. That should be like, okay, you know what? In this particular segment, this is what I want to do. This is the problem I'm trying to tackle. If it's facing the Nigerian problem and the problems of the economy, then yes, that is a good deal. You can even write some sticky notes, put it at your bedside table. For those of you that you read Bibles in the morning or have journals, you can stick it in your journals, keep them there, and then you know that every morning you're looking at it, that's what's making you motivated. For me, I don't have like, you know, like jotters. I mean, I have jotters, yeah, but I don't like look at them every single time, only when I want to you know, pen my thoughts down. But what I do is that I have an app on my phone that I set the reminder for every day, Every morning at 9 a.m., my alarm sets up and it reminds me, you know, do this, do that. It's more like motivational speeches or motivational quotes that you've written to yourself. And you're like, these are affirmations that I am greater than what I need, like what I am right now. I'm going to be the best at it. And, you know, this is what's driving me to start this business. I must tackle this problem. These are basic, you know, focus and driven motivational situations that you can thrive off. As individuals, I believe that, you know, pushing and pulling and making sure that, you know, we all strive for success is what makes us, us. These are basically the four solid points that I wanted to highlight as my major failures or major things that made me not want to push my business for further, I guess. But yeah, like I said, planning, focus, promotion, and money management, those four. Keep them, not note them down somewhere. If you tackle those four problems, I bet you your business is gonna be thriving. Okay, thriving. Thank you for watching this video. I hope my solid points were very useful to you. I made mention of the budgets of the, the template I use when planning my money management. I'm gonna put that in another video where all of you can, you know, thrive off the little bits and pieces of what I do and how I manage my money. But yeah, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Help a thriving young entrepreneur grow and keep watching. Bye for now.